One timers here. Matt on the phone. Justin here. Uh, let's get to this. Another South American dog fight between two South American teams. Uh, we got Colombia, who, despite losing their star Falco before the World Cup, has looked fantastic all along. Uh, they're taking on. Um, they won Group C. They're taking on the runners up in Group D, a team that I think some of us thought would be second up, maybe first, but ended up second. Uruguay and. The thing that kind of sucks about this is we have to talk about it. Um, it kind of overshadows this match, but the fact that Luis Suarez once again bit someone on the field. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's not... It's, it's childish. It's something that has no place. I think... I just think it's ridiculous. And I, I've seen... I, I know some Liverpool fans, and I know other people are saying the punishment is too harsh. Mm -hmm. But um, he didn't. It's not even it's even shoving somebody with your hands, or uh, I mean, a bite can cause serious damage. You never know. Um, a disease could be contracted, and it's not <laughs> even anywhere in part of the shape of the game. It's nothing. Has no place. I think the punishment could have been worse. Yeah, to be honest. Well, yeah. Um, there's some. And, there's some people thinking that he should just be suspended from the game for life. Um, and then there's other people saying that, that the the suspension that FIFA gave right now is too harsh. Uh, in general, I, I mean, there's people are mixed across the board. Um, what, four, four months, no no soccer, nine-month ban, or not nine, nine, nine match ban um, from Uruguay, and then... I think what uh, like a hundred, the equivalent of one hundred twelve thousand U.S. dollars um, in a fine, which he can appeal the fine, but he can't appeal any of the suspensions. It's it's I mean, I just don't understand how people can argue that it's okay. I mean, yeah, it's it's not like even theoretically, if it was a bad tackle, he five tackle guy with his cleats up and took out a guy's ACL, I could understand that if he was running to full speed and he was, it was like it's a, foot, it's a soccer move or soccer play yeah but the bite has no intention of of playing soccer it's just and this isn't the first time this is the third documented time when he's tried to physically bite somebody so I mean I think you could, you could punish him for a lot worse and um it's it's almost ridiculous that we have to talk about it and I know he I looked at some things and he was trying to put it behind him and be a role model going in this World Cup. And, um, I think, I really, I think Italy kind of got psychologically thrown off when that happened. They're so, the Italians are, are so concerned sometimes with arguing with the referees and playing at that time. This, after, I think it was like a minute after, yeah. a minute after that incident happened, you're going to a free kick and this, and the team is still worried about arguing, and they scored. So uh, I think it definitely had an influence on the game, and it should have been a red card, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, I I agree. Um, Italy, I, was, I think it was Mauricio did a dumb, you know, ankle stop stop that resulted in a red card so they're already down to 10 men i mean it, you could obviously Italy only needed a draw to get through um we could talk all, all you know all day about this but it, i'm still a little upset with how Italy did not really do anything worthwhile on an offensive attack pretty much the whole tournament um but with that being said diego godin once again is there in a big time situation gets the goal that puts Uruguay through, but because Suarez is too busy trying to bite dudes, his goal does, his goal almost goes completely unnoticed. You know, and this this is a guy that played a huge role in Atletico, um, making the run to the to the uh, Champions League final. Obviously, they lost in extra time, but he did have the one goal Atletico had against Real in the Champions League final. He scored the game winner. Um, against Barcelona, or I think it was to draw Barcelona, but that's all they needed to win La Liga. And then here he is coming up big again with another another header, uh, scoring a goal to put your way through. But because Suarez is back to his old antics, no one almost even mentions Godin. It's almost, you know, they talk about the whole biting incident, and they're like, oh, by the way, you're way one. And I think so at some point, someone from Uruguay, these players have to be like, look, we're tired of the focus being on Suarez. 
biting dudes. Do it like when he's scoring goals, like the two goals he had against England. That's fine if he's going to be the sh- the you know the showcase for the team. But if he's biting dudes and the rest of everyone on the team goes overlooked in their great um, you know plays that they've done on the field, there's got to be a point where someone in that locker room goes look. You, you you have a, maybe an issue where you have to feel like you have to bite people. And he said, Luis Suarez said that you, he just basically said stuff happens in the box. But yet Suarez is like the only guy in all of, all of soccer that bites people in the box. So the, there's a point, you know, pushing and shoving, I understand that. That happens in the box. But no one is just out there literally biting dudes in the box. That just does not happen. I mean, you're going to see how you're going to react. I mean, um, it's hard to argue that Suarez isn't their best player. I mean, he he really had no chances against England other than the two that he put away. He was, I mean, he was absolutely clinical with two goals. He would have probably, in my opinion, should have won that game. Um, it, it, I mean, Suarez doesn't make those. Those are really the two best chances they had for the most part. Um, so, it's going to be interesting to see how they react without having they're kind of poster boy and all this controversy. Um, that's why I think I think Colombia seems like a complete team. I, I like the way they pass the ball mm-hmm. through everything I've watched. Um, they really, I mean, it's not one of the strongest groups, but they, they made it look, they made it look, they made themselves look like a class above all the other teams in the group. Um, they, they, they uh, did work with everybody. So, I, I, I think Colombia, I think Colombia might have a solid win 2-0 I think I don't know if Uruguay really um, needed Suarez uh, to score their goals uh, their, uh, in their first game against well, I remember the first game against Costa Rica mm-hmm. it was kinda, they needed that offense and it doesn't seem like they really have anybody to fill this shoe um, so with that being said I think I think Colombia gets it done it's not surprising because we talked about this starting the match with the World Cup no Falco yeah. uh, for Colombia. They're still everything's still still looking good for them. So I think they do a pretty good job against Uruguay. I agree with that. I think Colombia will win this game. I think your stat line is probably fairly close to what it's going to be. I think Colombia is. Uh, is especially with their class, way above Uruguay now. Um, James Rodriguez, the youngster, he's playing out of his mind, playing great soccer right now. I think Colombia gets gets the job done, especially without Uruguay having uh, no Suarez. Um, they've only mustered up uh, two goals that weren't Suarez. Obviously, Godin's was, was really good, but the other one was Cavini from the penalty spot. And, and the one game that Suarez did not play, they lost 3-1 to Costa Rica. So, I agree. I think uh, Colombia will win this one. Um, so, we're both thinking Colombia will take a look at another match in a moment. 